Intercepts are the values where a function crosses the x or y axis. Y intercepts are the value of y when x equals 0. There will only ever be one y intercept because something that can produce different results for the same input is not a function and would fail the vertical line test. We're more interested in x intercepts where the function crosses the x axis. These are all of the different x inputs that produce a zero output, and we can have more than one. Sometimes they are also called the roots or solutions of the function. Consider this line. It crosses the y-axis once and the x-axis once. We can't cross the x-axis twice with a line that doesn't bend. It's impossible. However, a quadratic can cross the x-axis twice. See? x squared minus 4 crosses the axis in two places, negative 2 and 2. Does this mean that every quadratic will have two x-intercepts? Nah. If the quadratic is underneath the x-axis and opening downwards, it'll never cross the axis. So this quadratic has no intercepts. We can even have a quadratic with a single x-intercept if it's just touching the x-axis with its vertex. The vertex of a quadratic is the maximum or minimum point, the top or bottom of the u. So a function of degree 1 has one x-intercept, and a function of degree 2 has 0, 1, or 2. Huh. What about a cubic function? A cubic function has an odd degree, which means its arms are pointing in different directions. That means it has to cross the x-axis at least once. Since it has a degree of 3, that means it can have at most 3 x-intercepts. So it will have 1, 2, or 3, but not 0. Are you sensing another pattern? How many intercepts do you think a quartic, or degree 4, equation can have? If you guessed 0 to 4, you're right. It has an even degree, so it can have 0 roots, and the degree is 4, so it will have at most four roots. In conclusion, a polynomial will have an amount of x-intercepts less than or equal to its degree. If the degree is even, it might have zero, but if it's odd, it will always have at least one.